In this video, I'm going to explore some of the strategies that you can use to deal with negative events and some research that proves a lot of what I'm saying. So the first thing I want to do is to introduce you to a man called Rag Ragunathan. And he is the author of If You're So Smart, Why Aren't You Happy? And if you haven't read it, I really recommend reading that book. It's really enlightening. But the research that he did was he took four groups of people and he said, okay, so the first group of people, we're going to call them A. He said, I want you to remember something from your past recently that was positive. And then the next group was something from your past, but a long time ago that was positive. And then group C was, I want you to remember something from your recent past that was negative. And then the last group, group D, way back in your past, something, you know, really, really negative that happened. And then he asked them, out of all those things, you know, how do you feel about that now? When it is, he tracked the responses. So let's say, for example, there was a positive event that happened 10 years ago. And at the time, you know, you felt amazing. Let's say it was 10. And now it's like, oh, actually, maybe I feel it was an 8. Or a negative event that happened in the past that, let's say, was a, a 10 at the time is now, let's say, a 6. And what he found is that the negative events that we felt really far in the past compared to how we feel now, there's a huge difference. In fact, some of them, some of the events that we thought were really, really negative, so let's say losing your job or, or losing your partner, where at the time you were just so stressed beyond belief. And now you actually say, oh, you know, that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So that negative thing has now become an even more positive thing. In fact, someone would say, you know, it was the turning point of my life when I lost my job. And it puts it into perspective. So when you're dealing with a negative event, what I want you to take from this is that at the time, you may look at yourself and think, oh, there's no other options, there's nothing I can do, and you may get yourself really, really stressed and in a negative state. But understanding this, you need to realize that it's actually nowhere near as bad as you think. And there are some beliefs you could install that could really help you move forward and deal with that negative event. So the first thing is you could say that, you know, everything happens for a reason. First thing is that beliefs are all, all crap, right? There is, there is no such thing as a, as a proper belief. But you could believe that, you know, all things bad happen to me, or you could believe everything happens for a reason. And if you believe that everything happens for a reason, different things are going to happen in your life, and you're going to look at them positively as opposed to negatively. So that will dampen the impact of a negative event because you're giving it a different meaning. For many of us, we, we never really think about giving something a different meaning because we we're so stuck in that negative state. And, you know, why did this happen to me? Or oh, how could that happen? And, and we get ourselves all stressed and, and really in a, in a bad negative, ne negative place. So the example I use is, is let's say, I mean, I've used this before, but it, it's such a powerful example. So say where you are now, if you look around the room and you look for everything that's red, so you look around and you think, okay, that's red, that's red, that's red, that's red. And what you find out is that actually it's not all red. There's, you know, some maroon in there, perhaps an orange. There may be some black that you, you just thought it was red just because it came at you. And, and what we realize is that we tend to get more of what we look for. So if you're looking at this negative event and you're saying, you know, oh, why does this always happen to me? Things like that always happen. Look what happened the other day. And you're looking for these things. Then often you're going to attract more negativity into your life because, you know, that's what you're looking for. Whereas if you change the belief of, you know, everything happens for a reason, then you're looking for the positive intent and, and you're looking for something to be grateful for. And, and there's something there that can help you deal with it in a better way. Because if you're stressed and if you're feeling negative, then you're not going to be in the best state to deal with whatever is happening to you. So that's the first thing. I want you to think about, you know, what beliefs could you install? Another one is, you know, taking 100% responsibility. So you know what, that was my fault. I chose to be there at that time, which is why that happened. I take full responsibility, I shouldn't have done that. And when you take responsibility, it stops you blaming other people. And it actually allows you to deal with it in, in a really nice way. Because what you're saying is, I'm responsible, I'm gonna deal with this, and it, it, I take full responsibility. And that way it gets you out of this negative thing of blaming that person, or this person, or this person. And it's, it's a great way to, to help you move forward. The next thing I wanted to speak about was, let's say something really bad has happened in your life and it's a terrible negative event and it's really, really affected you. What I want to say is that allow those emotions through. 
for example, it's grief or a traumatic event, you know, you've, you've got to allow that and feel it, and then that helps you move on and process it. Because for many people, they suppress, and they say, no, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna talk about that negative event, I don't wanna talk about it. And you're using a lot of brain power just to suppress it. And people don't realize this, actually suppressing it uses a lot of brain power, even though you're not thinking about it, part of your brain is suppressing it. So if you allow it through you, if you allow yourself to feel all those feelings, and talk about it and, and have that network of people to support you, that's gonna really help you move forward in, in a more positive way. For many guys, we, we shut off if a negative event happens and try to process it ourselves. We go to you know, the man cave. And, and that's something that a lot of guys do, as well as some women have adopted this technique as a defense mechanism because they don't wanna share because let's say they've shared before and something bad has happened. So reach out to the people around you, really, have the right people come to you so that they can help you deal with that negative event and help you move forward. So those are two we've discussed so far. And the last thing is to work out what are the negative events that you're allowing into your life? Something that I teach is about situational. Situational things, like what situations are you allowing into your life? For example, do you watch the news? Do you read the news every day? Do you allow that, that media to negatively affect you as opposed to looking for the things that actually matter? Are you hanging around with certain types of people that are affecting your life in a certain way. Or let's say someone always lets you down and you're allowing this person into your reality. A, a great analogy that my mum uses is a ship. And she says, everyone has their own ship. So just choose who you allow on your ship. And I would also choose the view as well. So the ship would be, you know, which people do you allow into your life? Do you allow negative or positive people? Because if you're just allowing negative people and negative things are happening, well, naturally that's going to happen. Whereas if you change it and you get some positive people, they're going to help you grow and help you change your mindset. That's going to help you move forward. But some people, you know, get depressed and then they seek other people who are also depressed so that they can bond and they can, you know, feel like they're friends because they're so depressed. And there are people like this. So if you're going to break out of that pattern, if you're going to change, change yourself and, and change the way you view negative events, you need to think differently and think about who you want to bring onto your boat and what view you want with regards to what is in your reality. For example, there are so many negative things happening in the world. How much of that do you allow yourself to see? How much positive things do you allow yourself to see? Because we're in an information overload where you can find out about any news you want all over the world, but does it really affect you or does it dampen your mood? I mean, you hear that something bad has happened over there and this explosion here and all these other things. What happens is you're like, oh my God, it's such a fearful face and fearful place. And you allow that to affect your reality instead of being selective and saying, you know what, I want to hear from these people, these people, for my career, I want to understand this marketplace, but I don't really want all this filtered stuff that's meant to scare me. Instead, I'm going to choose things that positively affect me. So the action steps that I'd want you to take from here is number one, work out what beliefs that you want to install in your life and say them to yourself every single morning. So say, I'm 100% responsible for my life or everything happens for a reason and start installing them in your unconscious because that way when a negative event happens, you're going to be thinking more positively as opposed to a negative pattern that perhaps happened before. Then what I want you to do is be incredibly aware of the people that you hang around and who you spend time with as well as the situations you allow yourself in. So perhaps write down on a sheet of paper all the, all the most negative things that have, like, are happening to you and where they're coming from. And then think of other positive things and perhaps switching your focus and moving on to more of the positive things could help you deal with negative events in a better way. If this has helped you, please comment. Don't be one of those passive listeners that watches a video and goes, oh, thank you, then carry on. Comment, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and actually having a conversation. Thank you.